All right, we are live. Shout out to my new subscribers, my old school subscribers, and my TikTok family. If it wasn't for you guys, none of this would be possible. Shout out to my replay gang, gang, gang. Shout out to my overseas gang, gang, gang. There's always something going on every time I get ready to make some videos. Um, <laughs> uh, shout out to my uh, unsubscribed gang, gang, gang. Hey, look, if you're unsubscribed, you should think about subscribing. You know, we obviously have a good time out here. You keep coming back. You have a good time. You should go ahead and just, you know what I'm saying? Join the family. We appreciate you. Hey, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the likes, all the shares, and all the comments. You guys are dope. Uh, I know I've been kind of a, a recluse, but your boy's been a little bit sick. I've been a little bit under the weather, but you can't never let your enemy know. You know what I'm saying? So you just you, you move in silence. You know, I didn't want to be on here, you know, like that first day. My body was aching so doggone bad. You know what I'm saying? But um, you got to move in silence. But speaking of which, let's talk about this, okay? Hey, empaths. And I'm talking about any empath. Super empath, sigma empath, um, chosen one, you know, star seed. Whatever you want to call it yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? Have you had the same problem where you're constantly having people wanting to teach you something? Right? Like they want to go out of their way to find something to teach you. Do you have that same problem? As if you ask for it in any kind of capacity, they got to teach you something. Boy, it's getting on my nerves so much. I got to speak on it because I don't know what I've done or come off that I need recommendations or advice on. Please tell me in the comments, what have I done where I feel, where you guys feel like you need to give me recommendations or whatever. Right? My Wi-Fi. Turn that Wi-Fi off goofy wi-fi you know what i'm saying my son be causing me problems too you on that dog on headset taking all the wi-fi whatever you know uh with the bandwidth but I, anyway i'm all the way over here i don't need it but do you have that same problem i know y'all have the same problem look i got into this kind of quick but i gotta talk about it you know like it's just like ugh. you know what i mean it just be like i'm just trying to post up my life i'm not asking for any recommendations i'm not asking for any advice on life or anything i'm just trying to, to to show people how to recover and live their best life and then i'll have somebody don't let them get to you do you not know that you have to make videos that have some type of expression of yourself in it you can't be a robot see what y'all want is for somebody to get on here and fake like everything smooth and cool and i'm not faking nothing with you guys i'm giving you the real if you guys are in here and you're not complete haters, can you please hit the like button? There's like four people in here. And unless you're my ex and her goofy new uh, lover, you know what I'm saying? Hit the like button. I greatly appreciate it. But um, these people will go out of their way to give you some type of recommendation or advice. Listen, if you go back and look at my videos, I've been on my own since I was 17. Deploy to Iraq, which nothing that pisses me off about this person and her shitty family. I'm a whole veteran war veteran two-time war veteran and this piece of shit and her family treat me like as if they've done something for this country they've done absolutely nothing for this country you know what i'm saying and i'm a, I'm a war veteran two-time war veteran and that alone can't let her just let me be right she don't give a shit about none of that shit that's why i have no respect for this person she don't care about her country she don't do shit for her country she don't do shit for nobody else you know what i'm saying like but let's get off of this goofy you know, but um, I've been on my own. I've been doing all this myself. So what 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 will make you think that I need a recommendation? You know, and again, um, I understand the spiritual attacks I'm having. But do you understand if you go back to my videos and look that I've had these issues before? I was deployed to Iraq. I had a whole uh, wife then and she cheated on me, had a threesome and told me what she did. This is not my first rodeo. All I need to do is pray to God. I don't need to be doing no extra other stuff. And I don't want to make this channel about that extra other stuff. Okay? I don't want... But see, what happens is I seem so sound on everything I speak about. And if it's something that they don't seem like I'm sound on... Oh, 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 I got, I got a recommendation for... No, 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 no. I'm not sound on it because I don't give a shit about it. Okay? I'm not sound on it because I'm not doing any, in you know, a real research on it. Trust me, my friend calls me the researcher. If I wanted to know all about that stuff... And how to do all that, I would be doing it. This channel is not about that. This channel is about narcissists and how to avoid them. It's not a spiritual channel like that. 
if you want that, go somewhere else. Don't don't mix that up. What's going on here? It's just it's clean. It's strictly about narcissism, and that's it. I might mix a little bit, you know, of uh, them being a demon, or whatever. Um, and I always talk about God because I love God. But don't. This is not the channel. That's like a whole spiritual channel. Okay, so it, you guys are coming to comments, and it's like well, he got his whole life down. You know, he's taking care of his kid. He got his place. He's well spoken. He did it, but he's not so sound on the spiritual. Take that somewhere else. I'm tired of having people giving me recommendations, yo. Like I'm tired of it. Nowhere in my videos do I say, "Please leave me a comment about what you think I should do." Please leave me a comment about what you think is going on in my life right now in the moment as far as spiritual attacks go. This is why I don't make YouTube and TikTok friends. What they'll do is they'll smile in my face and look at my videos and then they'll go make a video and not talk about me and say my name directly, but they'll make a recommendation. They'll say some goofy shit like, don't let them get to you. Don't let them in your energy. It'd be the same stupid shit because they know if they say it to me directly in my comments, I'm going to go with them. But if they go on their channel and say it broadly, then it's not speaking to me directly. But they know I watch their, that, that I watch their videos. So they're doing it on a slick like I'm not going to see they, people keep thinking I'm stupid or people think that I want their advice. I don't know what it is about me. I don't want no one's advice. OK, the people that I want advice from, I ask for it. I don't want no one's advice. I'm telling you straight up. I'm just going to be real with you. I've been doing this with God myself. I don't need any because I don't know what your intentions are. I have no idea what your intentions are. Your, your advice could be trying to set me up. You see, that's what my ex did. She kept getting advice from her family members who didn't like her and don't want her to have something greater than they've ever had. They never had a real good husband. Do you think that they wanted her to have one? But her dumb ass was like, well, I just want to cheat and stuff. And they were like, well, go ahead and cheat. Go ahead and cheat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and if he won't take you cheating, he's a bad man. He's a bad man, right? And her dumb ass went and did it. I'm not taking you. I know my worth. You will never get to cheat on me and get to stay with me. Are you crazy? You? It's, it, all the settling I did? Are you serious? No, 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 no. But you didn't have the sense enough to know your family was hating on you. Your mama, tch, enough said, right? Your sister, tch, Enough said, right? Your friends, enough said. Who has had successful marriages out of all them people? None of them. Why would you take advice from people that are not married or didn't have successful marriages? You don't do that unless you're looking for someone to justify some stupid shit that you're doing. And you need someone to tell you it's okay, go ahead and do it. Well, those dirtbags are going to tell you that because they've never had a successful marriage or relationship. And they know you have a really good person that if they had you, the per, if they had someone else as, tra as attractive as I am, as well spoken as I am, you think that they would let anybody talk hell. They held on to the men that they had. And those men were a third of the, of the man that I am. So you think that they would let me go? No, 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 no. You let me go because you wanted to go ahead and you use your body and your sexuality. You know, whenever you feel vulnerable, instead of you buckling down and working on things with the person you're with, you're just cheating all the time. You worry about what everybody else thinks and you're getting recommendations from bad people. And this is what happens. This is what happens. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But see, with my, I don't, I said all that to say this. I don't want any recommendations. I don't want you to tell me what you think. I, that's why no one does it in my comments. I don't want, I don't want you to tell me what, what, listen, I'm out here putting all of my life out here. What are you putting out here? Even the YouTubers and TikTokers, if you're not putting your every day to day life thing and what you're going through like I am, then who are you to be ma uh, making recommendations to me, period? If you're not putting your every day to day, what you go through like I am, then who are you to be making a recommendation or telling me what I need to do and woody woody woo and it's easier said than done, first of all. Secondly, it's all smoke and mirrors when it's the internet. So don't sit here and let me make you, you're falling for it the same way the doggone narc's gonna fall for it. The narc's never gonna know what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm throwing them off all kind of different ways. If you can't tell that, that's your problem. But don't make a recommendation to me. This is why I stopped talking to women too. New women I talk to, guess what they do? You know, I can't wait for you to heal yourself and, and you know, get over your ex and uh, shut the fuck up. I didn't ask for all that. Who I, 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 You exchange numbers and all of a sudden it's into this big spill of what you think I should. You've been watching me too hard and too long. Let me tell you something else too. I'm going to put it out here. 
people think it's been it's been normalized stalking right if you watching me and my content for a long period of time and then you decide to make a move and like come towards me i'm gonna detect that and i'm gonna automatically shut you down that's weird behavior to me if you if you're a woman and you like what you see and you want to holler at me you need to holler at me immediately if you watch me for a long period of time studying me and then that's weird as shit i'm gonna pick up on it and i'm gonna kick it to the curb if you're a dude don't even bother because the first thing I'm going to think about is why is this dude trying to be friends with me anyway? I made it clear that I don't have any dude friends. So if you come at me talking about, hey, what do business with you? I'm doing this on my own, homie. Like, I don't want to collab You know what I'm saying? I won't do none of that kind of stuff. Right? Like, where are you? You watching me? You see that there's money in me? And you want to, no, 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 no. You're not going to use me for nothing, okay? I know what I'm capable of doing on my own. I don't need no help doing it. You must see something in me that you want to get some money out of. So if a dude's coming at me, I automatically be like, what you need, homie? I ain't got nothing over here for you. You've been watching my videos a little bit too hard. See, I can tell that people don't know my intuition is on point, right? So don't think that it's cool to say, yeah, I've been watching your videos. Uh, 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 uh. Once you say that, you're studying me. That's weird. Have I been studying you? Have I been studying you? Do I get the same opportunity? Can I study your ass for about a month or two and then we talk about this? Probably not, right? So you think it's normal for you to study me for as long as you feel necessary and then come in just like with someone that comes in debating you. They've been watching your videos. They think that they know how you're going to speak or whatever. And then come in. You've been watching me too hard. That's weird. And I'm going to shut you down anyway. But no, automatically I'm thinking in my head, this person has been studying me. That's weird. That's so weird to me. And it bothers me. So don't think you're going to slide up in talking about that's weird to me. If you're a woman and you want to get at me, you better holler at me the minute you see me. If you study me like a weirdo, I'm going to know. I'm going to know. I'm going to be like, oh, you've been studying me. Okay, weirdo. Well, I don't know nothing about you. And um, I don't think I want to know anything about you because you've been studying me hard. You, and then you made a move. You, did, you studied me and you're like, oh, it's about the time I should make the move. You know, and that means that you've already knocked off on me. You've knocked off on me. You've, you've thought what you've learned a little bit about me to know how to approach me. Why should you be doing that? If, if, if we have natural chemistry, you don't need to study me prior to speaking to me. That's why you don't get a profile read on someone when you meet them. It's supposed to be natural chemistry. There's nothing natural about someone studying you and then thinking like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and approach it like this right here. Don't do it to yourself. My intuition is like peak. I'm not that kind of dude. I'm not stupid. I'm not going to be dating anybody to be dating anybody. You know what I'm saying? So like, I, and any weirdo studying me, like it's one thing to watch my content and that's fine. Like if you're watching my content, woo -woo, but if you watch my content, I've said it a million times before. If a woman's interested in me, you better make it known right there on the bat. Don't watch me for a while and then say something. If you're shot like that, I'm not the kind of person for you, period. I'm not the kind of person for you. So don't think it's normal to be studying someone and then come at them. And again, for the guys, this goes without saying. But if it needs to be said, dude, do not study me and then come in and try to like woo your way. I, like what? I'm automatically no, dude, you, you need something from me. I'm automatically think that. What do I need from you? Where have I said anywhere? Hey, I need help. Hey, hey, somebody help me build my platform. No, nowhere. You see that I got the natural talent and you over here just trying to jump on the back. Don't do it to yourself. Don't do it to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you um, looking like you copying me anyway and then you try to reach out to me. Man, you a whole weirdo and you somebody on my radar at that point. I got to watch this one. He, he, he looking like me, renaming himself something like mine. Yeah, I got to keep an eye on this one. But as far as like being dumb and thinking that you just happen to run across my stuff. No, your dumb, goofy self has been studying me for a while. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just not that kind of guy. You know what I mean? So if it seems like I'm kind of hesitant on things, I know in life, the real ones, they don't need to rush nothing. So if I got somebody that's rushing into a friendship, um, trying to rush to meet me in person, trying to trying to, trying to rush into some kind of um, weird ass as a guy, you know, if the women want to collab, I definitely think about it differently. Um, but um, as a guy, you know, uh, trying to rush into some kind of collaboration or some weirdo friendship, like I already said, I don't have dude friends. I don't have dude friends. I don't I don't do that. You know, I can have acquaintances. I can have guys that, you know what I'm saying, I'm working with or whatever if I decide to work with them. But I don't have dude friends. There's absolutely no point in me having dude friends. Anybody with any sense knows what is the point of having a bunch of the same sex around you. All they're going to do is study the shit out of you. 
That's all they're gonna do. All they're gonna do is study the shit out you. Like, what? what's the point, man? Like, I don't see the point in it. You're gonna have a bunch of haters right underneath you and you don't even know it. Most people that, like, most dudes hate me. They really do. They really do. Most dudes hate on me. I know that automatically. So I'm not gonna give them the opportunity to hate on me within my circle. I have no need for you in my circle. You have nothing to help me get where I need to go at in life. You're not going to help me have my legacy, you know, and I don't really hang out with crusty ass, funky ass dudes. I just don't, do, I don't really, you know what I'm saying, hang out with dudes, period. I'm sorry, that's what I am. Yeah, I'd really be by myself, period, anyway, but I don't like hanging out with dudes. Uh, but, um, look, y'all, I know ran it up to about 15 minutes, you know, but I had to get this off my chest, man. I, I really did because it's getting on my nerves, all right? It's getting on my nerves. I can deal with my ex being crazy. You know what I mean? And her doing all this troll weird stuff, you know? But when I'm having like random people like looking for an opportunity to just correct me, it's kind of getting on my nerves. And I can tell when my ex is doing it, but this is not my ex, okay? This is people that are like jumping on the opportunity to be able, I, I can teach them something. I don't want you to teach me shit, okay? Respectfully, I don't want you teaching me shit. I, if, you, if you don't know this, I got this kind of well down. I got it, you know what I mean? I don't need no advice. If I wanted it, I'd ask for it. I don't need it. If you think I do, that's you projecting onto me. Do you understand? You're projecting onto me. How you feel about my life has nothing to do with me. Do you understand? Your interpretation of my life has nothing to do with me. So don't project it onto me with your recommendations of what I should do in my world that I'm living every day. You sound insane to me. I'm just keeping it real with you. I'm just keeping it real. I'm a thinker. And this is how thinkers think. Like, who is this person? I don't even know what you do to your, in your day-to-day. -day. You could be you could be some crazy-ass person that robs banks. You know what I'm saying? You could, be kicking, you could be kicking ducks every day when you walk by them. I don't know what you do, but you're making a recommendation to me where I'm posting my entire life every day without no kind of, like, worry about anyone judging me? No, you're not able to do that, okay, person? You're not. None of you, you no, not gonna happen. So I just want you guys to know how I feel and what I think about that kind of stuff. So when you think I'm going at you kind of harsh in the comments, cause I'm thinking harshly. I don't want you judging me. And if you're gonna judge me, don't project it onto me. No, in, nowhere in, in my entire, who, who do I, on my channel, where, where, when have I ever told anybody what to do? I don't do that. All I do is just give you information. And make, you know what I'm saying? That's it. I don't even tell y'all what you have to do. So when someone's telling me what they think I should do, why in the hell do you think you know what I should do? Why do you think you know what I'm thinking right now? Based off of what? You're going to try to say you're intuitive like that? If you was intuitive like that, you know you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Because you don't even know how I move. I move in a way to confuse people. So you don't know shit. You know what I'm saying? So again, you know, people be full of shit. And they don't, you can't fool a real one. Okay? You can't fool a real one, and I don't get distracted, okay? My focus, I'm, I'm laser focused, okay? All right, love y'all. Um, to all my subscribers, I appreciate y'all. The real ones, I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all rock with me even when y'all definitely feel like I'm doing a little bit too much. Like, I know sometimes y'all be like, Ugh, uh, uh. but y'all understand, and y'all rock with it, and you don't say nothing crazy to me because you know I'm not going to respect it. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm not going to respect it. You know, so you don't do none of that crazy ass shit. So I appreciate y'all. I love y'all for that. That's why our community is solid. But we don't sit around judging anyone and we don't project onto other people. We don't do nothing like that in our community. That's what makes us dope. But love y'all. Appreciate y'all. And I'll be back on here shortly. You know, I told you I'm feeling good, man. I'm working out. You know, I, I'm, I'm congested still. <coughs> you know what I mean? The bitch tried to kick my ass a little bit. But man, I... Listen, I got that shit like two days ago. Man, I'm already like, you can, man, I'm just healthy as hell. If they weren't Kim Trip, mm, let me start with that. We already know what happens when I talk about this guy. You know what I'm saying? Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Back on here shortly.